My name is Philip Lingle. I teach philosophy at AV Tech. And I'm here to explain why the scientific study of dolphin communication could use a good old-fashioned paradigm shift. You see, for thousands of years, people have been fascinated and puzzled by dolphins. Not only are they, are they playful, curious, and friendly, but they also happen to have huge brains, dynamic social lives, and they use a type of sonar called echolocation to perceive their world. But what's most fascinating to me is that dolphins have a highly sophisticated system of communication, and scientists haven't been able to crack the code after 60 years of research. It all started back in the 1950s when some ambitious researchers had high hopes of decoding dolphin language in order to communicate with them on a deep philosophical level. Some of these researchers even claimed to be working on a device that would translate dolphin speak to English and vice versa just by speaking into it. Other researchers tried to teach dolphins to speak English because they can mimic the human voice to some extent. But all these attempts failed, and even today, scientists are still trying to crack the code. But I think that's just the wrong way to approach the problem. So I'm going to make two main claims here. One is that we're only capable of understanding dolphin language in a metaphorical way, not in a literal way. And two, that dolphins themselves are actually using a form of metaphor to communicate abstract ideas to one another. Now, we do know some interesting things about dolphin language. We know that different groups of dolphins have different regional dialects, or lingo, if you will. And we know that individual dolphins have a signature whistle to identify themselves to others. Also, dolphins are very good at learning languages that humans teach them. Uh, they're much better than apes and, and chimps at this. In fact, the Navy uses them to find and defuse bombs on the ocean floor. But in terms of what dolphins are saying to each other, that remains a mystery. So why has this been such a tough nut to crack? Well, one reason is because language reflects sensory experience. And humans cannot experience echolocation firsthand. Our bo bodies and brains just aren't equipped to do so. So any type of understanding we have of echolocation is going to be filtered through our own experiences and, and sense organs. And something will always be lost in translation when we do this. For example, the images on top here represent echolocation. But that's not what dolphins actually experience. That's just how we in visually interpret their experience. Just like the bottom image here represents a classical music piece, but it tells us nothing about what it's like to listen to music. It's no different than how you would understand color if you were blind from birth. You would have to relate color to more familiar concepts like texture or sound. In other words, you would understand color metaphorically. Now, there's nothing wrong with understanding things metaphorically. It's actually very natural and unavoidable. But the wrong metaphor can be very misleading. And in this case, the cracking the code metaphor hinges on a false presumption that language and thought are essentially literal. But they're not. Our brains are actually wired to understand abstract concepts metaphorically. We typically use about six metaphors a minute when we talk. And we do this automatically on a routine basis without even being aware of it. I've actually used quite a few metaphors already in this presentation. But the really interesting thing here is that dolphins can also understand abstract concepts. Numerous studies have shown this. And the brain mechanisms used in abstract thinking and the creation of metaphor are not unique to human beings. They're also found in other mammals, including bottlenose dolphins. In other words, the dolphin brain is also wired for metaphor. However, the metaphors that dolphins will use can't be translated into English because those metaphors will be grounded in sensory experiences that are very basic and familiar to dolphins, but very alien to humans. So it's my belief that the researchers will continue to spin their wheels until they recognize that dolphins may actually be using their own form of metaphor, and that humans aren't capable of understanding their language in a literal way. So in order for this study to really gain traction, a new set of questions must emerge based on a deeper understanding of the role of metaphor in thought and language. And the old model of cracking the code has to be abandoned once and for all. So it really all boils down to this one simple question. How can we fully understand dolphin language without experiencing what it's like to be a dolphin. Thank you very much.